We got down here a little early because we, uh, I mean, it's the first set, so we're trying to get everything ready. But uh, my camera's going off right now. There's deer in there. But uh, yesterday I had a picture of a deer I haven't had since August 31st come in. Um, he came in there for three hours yesterday morning with another late pointer. But um, he's, uh, he's an 11 that I'm hoping will score about 150. Uh, there's a little sneak peek of see what happens hopefully we'll get a get a shot at him this morning he stayed in here for uh i think just a little over three hours yesterday uh he came at about seven and stayed till a little after 11 so hopefully it'll uh hopefully it'll work out and we'll get a shot this morning but uh we'll get back to y'all let y'all know what happens I can't see him. I 
I can't see. I smoked it, Dad. I smoked it. I oh, know I've seen it. Just hold on. He's up there. Right there. Oh. Where'd he go? He's falling down the hill. Him, hold on, hold on. He's going down the hill. He's, he's going toward the river. Did he ever He's go? Get him. Did he go down? Yes, he fell. He went toward the river. Hold on, get your boat. There he is, right there. He's falling. He's he's, he's out there. Come here, come here, come here. Did he go the rest of the way down? I think I see him there. Just give him just a minute. Yeah, he's right there. <laughs> I cannot believe I got another shot. <laughs> he is huge, dude. Look, look, we need to go down that way. <laughs> God Almighty, y'all. It has been a heck of a morning. Oh, thank you, Lord. They come right in this morning. He's been, he's been coming in. I mean, every day he's been coming in. Uh, let's see, I had a picture August 31st of him, and I didn't have a picture all the way up until deer season. And that Friday before opening day, he came in and stayed for three hours that Friday morning. And um, oh man, I need a minute. God. He stayed in here for three hours, and I knew that if we'd stay down here, we'd kill him. And look at that, look at there, video, video that. Another buck coming back in. Oh. And finally, this morning, we had two does come in, and then another big doe came down the hill. And, uh, whew. And I heard him coming, and all the bucks scattered. They, they all backed up, and, and he come right in front of the camera, right where we needed him to be. And uh, I shot at uh, 25 yards and, and hit right underneath the crease of his elbow and I missed. And the Lord blessed me and, and he turned around and came right back like I didn't even shoot. Came right back at 30 yards and I moved my pen up and smoked him. He went 20 yards and fell and rolled down the hill and he's laying right there. He's laying right there. He goes by. Got Hoyt bow. I'm shooting this Hoyt Helix. It's the fastest, best shooting bow I've had. I've killed some pretty good deer with it. It shoots how it's supposed to. If uh, I'd have my pen right, then. <clears throat> Man, Southern Time Productions. We're, we're trying to get something going, and we got our hats ordered. We're waiting on them, but all this stuff going on, they're back ordered, but. It's gonna come together now. That deer's gonna be the start of everything. 
we're gonna be out there. We're gonna find some more and it's only the second day of season, second morning, so we still got deer feeding in front of the camera. We had a pretty decent eight pointer, probably a 115 inch eight pointer standing in front of the camera that he's been with, been fighting. I got actually got pictures of him fighting uh, with him that, that Friday before season opened. I see. Here's the pictures of him fighting with the eight pointer that was with him. Big deer. Let's see, there he is, there's a picture of him. We got some, let's see. Can't find a picture right now, but he's, he's, he's in here and luckily the Lord blessed us, man. We got a perfect shot. I missed the first time and he just came back like it was meant to be. Oh, we're, gonna we're gonna get down here and go get my arrow and I guess get these deer out of here and see if we can get down here and get some pictures and we'll show y'all back when we get back down to the the arrow and see what it looks like, but we've seen him fall, so. Here he is, y'all. Right over there by that pine tree, you can see his rack. Oh, I see it. We literally shot him 30 yards right there. Whew, let's go get him. Get around on the back side of him. I cannot believe this, y'all. <laughs> I want you to look what a shot. <laughs> Beautiful rack, golly. He's just as big as I thought he was. Look, split brows. That's a stud, y'all. That is a stud. Holy cow, you see where he's been horning trees. Man, that's a nice one. Perfect shot. Shooting those G5 broadheads, man, they, they do the job. That's the side it went in on. Let's see what the heck looks like. Look at that. Perfect. Man. Well, we got him, y'all. That story didn't last long, but it lasted. It's over now, though. And we got him. That's the deer we've been after. That's the biggest one we got on camera this year. And uh, now I guess he'll be hanging on the wall. Big old deer. Thank you, Lord, and thank you guys for watching. We'll get back to y'all in a little bit. We're going to get this thing out of here. We got a little bit of a drag. We got to drag it right up a hill. So we'll get back with y'all. All right. Uh, this morning we went in there and uh, I mean, we sat there for t not even, it just got daylight. And we already had a bunch of deer coming in. Um, we had a bunch of does and a couple little bucks coming in and a decent little eight pointer that's been traveling with him. Um, and I starting to break up there fighting a little bit. I had pictures Friday afternoon. Oh, Friday morning. My bad. Uh, Friday morning at daylight, they came in there and stayed for three hours and, uh, they fought in front of my camera and stayed there and ate. He stayed there from seven to right at 11. He stayed there. And, uh, I knew that was a good sign, you know, for opening weekend. And uh, so I hunted him yesterday morning, and then I didn't hunt. I took a break yesterday evening, and I didn't hunt him. I just let it, let it go, you know. And right there at dark yesterday at 8.20, it was just a touch after dark, he came in. And, um, I mean, he just came into the camera, and I knew that was a sign. I had to go back this morning. So I went back, and he um, he came right in. He, I mean, them does came in there, and he, he walked right up into the camera. And it was just like, like clockwork, man. He came in there, and I knew he was going to come. I just knew it was a matter of time if I was going to be there or not. So uh, I'm glad that he came in and we yesterday afternoon, no Friday afternoon, we came in there and uh, we made a scrape using this buck urine. And I mean, it was right above the camera and and he came in and, and he thought it just, he hit it. You know, he hit it, he came in there and hit it and we knew he was going to. 
And this morning when he came in there, the first thing he did was come and check it out. You know, he came and checked the scrape out and he, all them bucks were standing around. He ran them off, all of them left. I knew he was coming cause he ran, they ran off, you know, and he hit that scrape and walked right down to the camera and, and it oh, gave me a perfect shot and it, it worked out great. This peanut butter we got from Phillips Outdoors. That guy knows what he's doing. He's got his stuff together and, uh, he's got everything figured out. He, he let us have a couple things and we've used them and it really works. What he, what he's got really works. You'd be surprised what, what this little bit of stuff would do. Um, and, and I mean, this right here shows you that it works. It'll put a big deer on the ground. If you got one in the area, you can kill him.